Y'all already know it is fight week, but first things first. Do y'all remember when Javante Davis told Frank Martin at the face-off, you not from Detroit, Michigan, you are from the suburbs. That cut Frank Martin deep because deep down he know he from the suburbs. Well, Coach Kenny is a mastermind at breaking down Javante Davis' opponents. Coach Kenny is a mastermind at reading Javante Davis' opponents. Frank Martin said that if Javante Davis slips up, he going for the knockout. That is the difference between Javante and Frank. With Javante Davis, you don't gotta slip up. He's still coming for the knockout. His uncle took him to the gym at age 7 because he fought every day. Not sometimes, but every day. And his grandma would punish him and he couldn't come outside. He was in the house making his pencils fight. That no me. Then Coach Kenny posted on IG, Tank ain't doing it just because he could make some money doing it. He doing it because he loved boxing. For as many times as a kid, he would say, Mommy, I'm hungry. Tank was saying, Mommy, I want to fight somebody. What Coach Kenny is saying is that when Javante Davis said he was hungry, what he really meant was that he want to beat somebody brains out at the boxing gym. He ain't like that. Javante Davis started boxing at seven years old. And as y'all can see, at eight years old, he was already winning amateur fights. Frank Martin started boxing at 17 years old. Javante Davis been boxing an entire decade longer than Frank Martin. And as y'all know, in boxing, Experience is everything. Absolutely. We are only six days away, and I know every single boxing page, every single YouTube channel, every single Twitter page that's saying, yo, Tank ain't never fought nobody like Frank Martin, an undefeated black fighter. I can't wait till Saturday night. I can't wait to hear y'all excuse after Javante Davis beats Frank Martin's brains out. Mark my words, Frank Martin will not see the 12th round. Mark my words, this fight will end by a stoppage. Javante Davis stopping Frank Martin, the man from the suburbs. I'm going to boom them on camera. And what's the issue with Javante Davis and Kamel Moten? Or should I say, what does Javante Davis got against Lil Kamel Moten? As y'all already know, Kermel Moulton was supposed to be fighting this Saturday on the Tank Davis undercard. He will not be fighting on the Tank Davis undercard. A Twitter user by the name of Fez tweeted out, Bro, Tank really kicked off Kermel Moulton from the card. Kermel Moulton responded back by saying, I got something else coming up, don't worry about it. Gervonta Davis tweeted back to them. He said, yo, next time be a man of your own. Don't forget the reason you throwing up that ape shit. I know South Park TV. Javante Davis is talking about the white gorilla logo that Kermel Moten be using on his merch. Javante Davis is acting like he created the gorilla logo. <laughs> if y'all been following Kermel Moten, the man been rocking that white gorilla. Javante Davis did not create gorilla emojis, gorilla logos, whatever. Well, today on Twitter, Kermel Moten posts this. He said new merch dropping soon. As y'all can see, it is the white gorilla animated with Kamel Moten's face on the other side. I don't see no issue with that. A clown Twitter user by the name of Fleezes Bryce tweeted out. Don't be salty little bro. Take it for what it is and move on. This right here ain't it though. Kamel Moten said, what the hell is you talking about? But he said, what you mean what am I talking about? You know what you posted. Kermel Moulton said, that shit ain't got nothing to do with him. People is delusional trying to start shit on the internet. Fuck Canelo. Y'all already know, in today's world, in today's era of life, any group troop on the internet can say anything that comes out their mouth or anything they type into their cell phone. Kermel Moulton was unbothered. As y'all can see, he posted another picture of the white gorilla. The white gorilla is Kermel Moten's emoji. I don't care what y'all say. And for the record, love Javante Davis as a boxer, but at least Kermel Moten could say he don't paint his fingernails and he don't rock purses. <laughs> I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. I already told y'all I am a fan of Javante Davis inside the ring, but I just can't rock with a grown ass man going to the store and buying nail polish. It is what it is. Y'all some hoes. Y'all some hoes. I don't understand why Tank Davis is hating on Kamel Moten anyway. 
Maybe it got something to do with Floyd Mayweather. Maybe it's the fact that Kermel Morton is signed to Mayweather Promotions. I really couldn't tell ya. But for some reason, Javante Davis is hating on a 17-year-old who never even fought for a championship yet. Kermel Morton got three fights. Why the hell is Javante Davis got such animosity towards Kermel Morton? I really couldn't tell ya. But like I said, at least Kermel Morton Ain't painting his nails and rocking purses. He ain't like that. Hey, yo, Southpaw TV. I thought you was a fan of Javante Davis. I am a fan of Javante inside that ring. But low key, I don't really care about none of these fighters. I tell it like it is. Javante Davis should not be hating on a man that only got three fights. Kermel Moulton does not paint his nails outside the boxing ring. Javante Davis does. It is what it is. I don't glorify that. I don't glorify that.